We'll begin by coming into the application under Accounts Receivable and Setup and select the free text invoice templates. Here you will find a list of the templates that are created. In this example, we'll use our template for dues. The template identifies the invoice lines to be included on the recurring invoice. In our example today, the description will be dues. We've identified the main account for posting, as well as quantities and the unit price to be charged. To assign customers to receive recurring invoices, we'll do that at the customer level. We'll come into our customer records. We'll select the customer to receive the recurring invoices. Click on our invoice tab and choose recurring invoice setup. This allows us to identify the template that they should receive, in this example, dues, and identify their billing start date. We'll also identify here the recurrence pattern. So in this example, we'll identify that the customer should receive the recurring invoice one per month. Now, once a customer has been assigned to receive a recurring invoice, we can look back at our free text invoice templates and take a look at all of the customers that are assigned to receive this particular invoice. We can see who the customer is and the number of invoices that have been generated to date. Now, in order to process the recurring invoices, we'll come into our periodic activities under recurring invoices and select generate recurring invoice. This allows us to identify the invoice date and the template for which we want to generate recurring invoices. When we select OK, this will create the recurring invoice for us. We can see the details of that recurring invoice by taking a look at our free text invoices. Here, we can select the recurrence that was created. We can open up the in invoice and we can identify the information included. In this example, the dues, the main account, and the quantity and price. Now, in order to post our recurring invoices, we'll come back into our periodic activities and select post recurring invoices. We can select the recurrences to be posted and click on our post button. This will generate the invoice format that can be either printed or emailed to our customer. It will also create the transactions on both the customer record as well as in the general ledger.